I guess the first time I taught anything you'd call classics was when I started a mythology club in the supply closet of my first grade classroom. There's something unique about a fantasy world that we like to inhabit that was actually part of some other culture's historical reality, that these were in fact the gods or the metaphors, if you prefer, that shaped their sense of why is society like it is and why is our natural world the way that it is. The study of Latin and also of Greek is certainly helpful for students who want to think more deeply about English itself, both in terms of the extent of the borrowing from Greek and Latin that you see in the English language, and the way that Greek and Latin are taught emphasizes how these different parts of a sentence and parts of a paragraph and then parts of a whole text are integrated, how they're put together. Learning something like Greek or Latin, for example, it's incredibly important that the classroom be an interactive environment. That's the kind of classroom environment where the students are able to feel most engaged. We actually undertake these miniature research projects and ask, like, what is classicism? I mean, what are the values of this particular ideology? And then we go into the college archives and we look for examples of classicism in the history of Trinity itself. So some of the examples of classicism at Trinity are in fact um, literally written on the stones around us, but we might pass them by because if you don't read Greek or Latin, I mean, what do they mean? It's always interesting for students to go into the archives and see, well, why do those things exist at Trinity and what are some other examples of how classicism has informed the culture of the college in its almost 200 years? You know, we have all of this freedom to take these stories and recreate them on our own terms. And I think that that sense of invention and creativity is something that every student should feel, every person should feel free to engage in. We're participants in this tradition, not just recipients of it.